Let's watch Maya from Israel score a band 5 for her speaking interview. Now, you need a band 6.5 or higher for immigration and university. So you need to understand what a band 5 sounds like. And I will explain this according to official IELTS marking criteria and give you strategies and tips on what to do so that you can get a 6.5 or higher to reach your goals. Now, let's watch and learn. Welcome to the speaking section of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. We are conducting this exam in Tel Aviv. The time right now is 14 o'clock. I'm recording this for clerical purposes. The speaking has three parts. I will give you instructions for each. This is candidate number 9973-2185 and examiner number 49721. Let's begin. Can I see your identification? Yes, of course. It's a passport uh, that I use. It. Can you please open the, to the page with the credentials? And what is your full name? My family name is uh, Cohen and my uh, given name is Maya. Just call me Maya, please. Maya, for part one, I will ask you a couple of questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. Uh, where do you live? I live in a uh, two-bedroom apartment in the urban center of Tel Aviv. Do you work or study? At this moment, I am work and study. I am uh, work part-time like store manager and I am study business finance. Let's talk about your holiday activities. How often do you go on a holiday? Uh, usually I go three four times. Usually I have a holiday in winter and in the summer. Sometimes it's in the spring. Currently I look forward for my holiday in the winter in Austria on the skin. Do you prefer to travel or stay at home on your holiday? I prefer to go on the trip on the, my holidays. I like to explore new places and meet new people. I look forward for my vacation in the winter in Austria. Who do you like to spend your holiday with? Oh, I prefer to spend my holiday with my friends or my family. In the last year, I have a wonderful trip with my friends in Morocco. Has the way you spend your time on holidays changed compared to 10 years ago? It's a change. Uh, if 10 years ago, I am uh, prefer to activities, uh, vacation and for attraction of uh, new countries. Now I prefer at relaxing places on the beach or in the parks uh, of new countries. What is the best holiday you have had so far? Oh, it's so tricky. Uh, I think uh, I had a lot of memories uh, vacation with my family and uh, with my friends, but I think um, my vacation to it's a go in the friends. It's a so wonderful place for visiting. Uh, it's so delicious uh, cuisine and wonderful architecture. If you could go on a holiday to any country, where would you go? Oh, my dream is to go to New Zealand. A lot of my friends visited this country a lot of times. They speak about wonderful landscapes and amazing nature. That is the end of part one. We will now continue with part two. According to the official IELTS marking criteria, Maya is clearly a band five on fluency and coherence, grammatical range, accuracy, vocabulary, and pronunciation. Indeed, Maya is able to maintain the conversation but quite limited with her fluency, often getting stuck thinking about words, repeating connectives, and frequently making grammatical mistakes. In the beginning, she says, I live in Tel Aviv instead of saying, I am living in Tel Aviv. 
This kind of a mistake with a present continuous is only made at around the band 5 level. In order to reach the band 6.5 and higher, you have to be accurate with simple grammatical forms, such as the progressive form. Make sure to practice your grammar and avoid these mistakes. Maya's pronunciation is also a band 5 because she makes frequent mistakes and at times it's difficult for the listener to understand exactly what she is saying, like when answering the question about her favorite vacation. And she uses the word architecture. It's quite challenging to identify this word clearly. In order to improve this, you must focus on your pronunciation, at least to the extent that the listener can understand your words without having to guess. This doesn't mean you have to speak perfect English, but you do have to articulate your words and sound clear. Practice this by copying native English speakers from your favorite TV shows and movies. Now, let's continue. Uh, for this part, I will show you a card with some questions. You will have one minute to read these questions, think about your answers, and then you will have one to two minutes to speak. You have some note paper and your pencil there. You can take notes in the one minute uh, if you wish. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Describe a game or a sport you enjoy playing. Please do not touch the question paper. Your one minute preparation time begins now. We want you to succeed on your next IELTS exam. So we have partnered with Cambly, a world-class app that lets you connect with a native English speaking tutor anywhere, anytime. In fact, Cambly has been generous enough to give us this special discount code, AEHELP2022, for you to get a free 10-minute trial lesson with any Cambly tutor and 50% off 12-month subscription plans. Simply click the link in the video description and use this discount code. But hurry up because the discount code will expire. And make sure to sign up at Cambly to stay informed of special offers and great lesson opportunities. I have tried Cambly and found it to be amazing for improving language and communication. In fact, many of Cambly's tutors are focusing on the IELTS and TOEFL speaking. Download the app today and begin learning for success. Now, let's continue. Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. I like the cut the go in uh, his style so popular uh, catch ball or catch it in Hebrew. I begin uh, to play in this game with my friends from my teenage age. It's a catch ball. It's a game uh, like volleyball. It's a need to play on volleyball court. It's basically all <clears throat> like a volleyball. It's a need bumping, crawling, and uh, spiking the ball through the team it's to the opposite team. Uh, I like to play these games because it's an opportunity to meet with my friends and play exercising together and it's uh, keep my body healthy and I'm uh, going to, to think during this game about my a little problem in the, my work or study. Usually I play with my friends in catch ball in the gym of a high school near my home uh, each Saturday between 7 and 10 p.m. We have a fun time with this. Uh, after a game, we walk and uh, laugh and uh, speak with my friend. Uh, it's a game uh, so easy for beginners because it's game like volleyball and um, beginners can... Um 
Okay, your two minutes is up. I will stop you there. Uh, please put the note paper to the side, turn it over, and the pencil also. Uh, and I will take back the questions. Now we will continue with part. Maya again reaches a band 5 level in speaking part 2. She understands the cue card clearly and chooses a good answer to talk about catchball as a popular sport among women in Israel. She does express some ideas clearly. However, her fluency again is a bit of an issue. She does not speak quickly enough to express all of her ideas and answer all of the questions on the cue card. Again, for those band 6.5 and higher scores, you have to answer all of the questions on the cue card. And you have to connect your ideas using a variety of connectives like because, since, as a result, therefore. Maya is not able to do this. In order to improve this part of your communication, make sure to use our first person speaking interview karaoke style videos. Click the link. Now, on to part three. Three, uh, for this part, I will ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Let's talk about sports. Why is it important for people to participate in sports? Uh, firstly, as for me, people need to make sports for both for mental health and regular health to keep their muscles strong. How can society promote playing sports among their citizens? Uh, government and um, non-government organization um, Worrying about this and make a lot of plays for making sports. It's uh, like a volleyball court or football uh -huh. field and uh, different uh, plays for people. How have sports changed compared to ancient times? Oh, a uh, hundred years ago. People uh, had uh, and made uh, so aggressively kinds of sport, for example, wrestling. In our time, people preferred team kinds of sports like uh, soccer or baseball. And uh, it's possible for both, for women and uh, men. How will sports be different in the future? I think in the future it uh, will be uh, mental uh, kinds of sports uh, like chess. Let's talk about games. What is the difference between a game and a sport? I'm not sure in, in the difference of uh, games of the sport, but in my opinion, sport uh, it's uh, physical activities and uh, games it's uh, mental activities. Uh, Can you elaborate? Uh, for example, uh, volleyball, it's a kind of sport, and chess, it's a game. How have playing games changed over the past couple of decades? Oh, um, past uh, 10, 20 years, digital technology is uh, improved, and a lot of people to change uh, board uh, games to digital games and uh, play on the phones or on the computers. Is this for the better or for worse? It's, uh, uh, in my opinion, it's not better and uh, not worse uh, because people can uh, play with other people in the different countries and uh, will be close each to each other. Why do people like to play certain games that are dangerous? Uh, people uh, play risky games for excitement and the cash. Uh, for example, it may be pocket or driving a race car or boxing. What is important to consider when playing a dangerous game? A person should consider the limits and abilities. They should not do boxing if they don't have it. 
That is the end of part three, and that concludes the speaking section of the IELTS exam. You will have your mark in two days online, and you will have your official certificate in the mail in 10 days. Please remember to take your passport with you. Goodbye. Maya continues to maintain a band five in speaking part three. She understands all of the questions, gives simple answers, and her fluency is fairly low because she cannot think of vocabulary to completely explain and give examples. You can improve this by doing regular reading for at least 45 minutes to an hour each day. Of that time, make sure to read 20 minutes aloud. When you read new vocabulary, write it down and use it as soon as possible. Also, Maya makes similar grammatical mistakes as in part one, like when answering the last question. People should not do boxing if they don't healthy, instead of correctly saying if they aren't healthy. It's important to avoid these simple grammatical mistakes so that you can get a score over 6.5. To improve grammar, you have to write. Record what you say, write it down, make corrections to the grammar. Follow these points, practice regularly, and you can improve from a band 5 to 6.5 or higher. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. For more video lessons like this one, including original practice exams, a fully interactive course, and an app for your phone, visit and join our premium IELTS package at aehelp.com. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. We are an official British Council partner IDP Affiliate and IELTS Test Registration Center. I'm a certified British Council agent. Begin learning for success today. Subscribe to our channel. Click over here. Watch another video. Click right up here. And click our IELTS Hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos, practice exams, and a fully interactive course.